Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of our series on relative strength of bases. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use the inductive effect to predict the relative strength of bases. The first thing to understand is when to use this effect. So, we will take a look at that and then we will understand how to use this effect to predict the strength of the bases. In our previous videos on this series, we have seen that we can predict the strength of bases with the help of the atom with negative charge and then the second factor was resonance. But these two factors do not help us always. So when these two factors fail, when they don't work, then we come to the inductive effect. Let's take an example and understand what I really mean by this. So if we have two compounds like this, CH3, CH2, O- and CH3, O-. Let's call them 1 and 2 and let's try to decide which one of them is more basic. The first factor that is the atom cannot help us here because the negative charge is present on the oxygen atom in both the species. So deciding the strength with the help of atom carrying the negative charge is out of the question. We cannot use it. The second factor was resonance. Now you can see that there is no resonance in the first species as well as there is no conjugation in the second species. So there is no resonance. So this is the ideal condition to use the inductive effect. Now here is the rule you need to remember. If charge increases then stability decreases. Okay. So, if something will increase the negative charge, the stability will decrease. Now, let us look at the species 1 and 2. In species 1, you will see that the ethyl group is showing a plus I effect and increasing the negative charge on oxygen atom. Similarly, the methyl group in the second species is also showing a plus I effect and increasing the negative charge on oxygen atom. So stability is decreasing in both the species. But the inductive effect of ethyl group is more than that of the methyl group. And therefore CH3, CH2, O- which is the ethoxide ion is less stable than CH3, O- Why? Because the plus I effect of ethyl group has increased the charge more than the plus I effect of the methyl group. And if charge increases, stability decreases. Now since the ethoxide ion is less stable than the methoxide ion, what this means is CH3, CH2, O- minus will be more reactive and hence more basic than CH3O-. Let's take another example. This time we will have an acetate ion CH3C double bond O O- and let's take the same species with one hydrogen replaced by a chlorine atom and let's decide which one of them is more basic. Now the first factor once again the atom fails here because both species have the negative charge on the oxygen atom. <coughs> also they have the same amount of resonance because this uh, um, acetate ion will have two resonating structures. Similarly, this species on the right will also have two resonating structures. 
so we are going to use the inductive effect to predict the relative strength now you can notice that the methyl group will show a plus i effect whereas the chlorine atom being more electronegative will attract electrons towards itself and show a minus i effect so what is happening here is chlorine is decreasing the negative charge whereas methyl group is increasing the negative charge and as charge increases stability decreases therefore acetate ion is less stable than this other ion and we know that the basicity order will be the reverse of this so we can say ch3 coo minus will be more basic than cl ch2 coo minus so guys that's how you use the inductive effect to decide the relative strength of acids and bases now let's rank all these factors and see in what order we should use them now whenever you are given a group of compounds to decide the order of relative basic strength then the first thing that you should look at is the atom with negative charge this is the first factor if that does not help you then you go to resonance to decide which is more basic and which is less basic and if still the question is not solved then you use the inductive effect so this is the order that you should follow in the next video we will take some examples and use all these factors to predict the relative strength of bases and then we will see how to do this for acids as well see you in the next video